Well, today being Halloween, uh, what better place or better time to reflect on the holiday than in an actual mortuary? <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Yeah. I think Halloween is a mortuary, and that's the basis of the novel All the Wrong Places, which is based on the author's time living and working in a Bay Area mortuary. Yes. Please welcome Rebecca Fisher to Seven Live. Thanks for being here, Rebecca. Rebecca. So wait, for this novel, you actually lived at a mortuary? Not for the novel. I lived in a mortuary and years later decided to write a story based on my experiences there. All right, well, tell me how you ended up there. You, yeah. your, your husband at the time got offered a job with room or something, with a room? Yes, we were kind of desperate for a place to live and we, we had a baby on the way so our options were slim and he was offered a job and an apartment and it was kind of hard to turn down as frightened as I was. You were scared? I was scared. I said no, but um, clearly that didn't work out because we. <laughs> so what? How would you? What is it like? I can't imagine. It's eerie. I stayed in the apartment for a while, like maybe a few months. I had a. Where was the apartment in relation to? It was right off of the hallway from the small chapel, from the embalming room. We right were off right the hallway there. from the embalming room. Yes. You know, I was telling you off the air that I won't do open casket anything. I won't do rosaries. I won't go to any of that stuff. Oh. And you, uh, how many bodies do you figure that you saw oh. during the time that you were there? I don't even know. It just becomes your daily routine at some point. I started going out and helping. I helped collect flower cards that were sent to the families, and I helped make sure the tissue boxes were full, which is important, um, and slowly made my way to that embalming room and... It is a different world in there, and, and eventually helped put makeup on the bodies, dress them, get them ready for their families. And that's really the that's really the business is getting things right for the family because they're the ones left here and they're the ones grieving. So you want it to be just right. Did you have any spooky incidences or anything happen while you were working that close with any of the bodies? Um, all the time. Really? Yeah. All so, the time. Really? <laughs> yeah. Um, in general, you know, you're, you're putting makeup on this dead body and you just kind of have a sense that it's going to, you know, its eyes are going to pop open and, and maybe critique you on the lipstick you chose or, <laughs> I don't know, you just have that sense that um, even though you know it's, it, it's a body that's missing something, um, it's kind of eerie. But other than mm -hmm. that, you know, we, we lived alone there and on occasion I would hear footsteps outside of our front door and I'd peek through and there's nothing there. Um, you know, I would see shadows walk behind me as I would dust the hearse. That's another duty that has to you be have. done. Wow. Now, I, I read someplace that, uh, that, that uh, your, your husband kind of went through a, a, a change. Tell me about this. Kind of I, went to the dark side a little bit. <laughs> I think he was always intrigued by this darkness. You know, I, I, I didn't know that right away. I, I made a lot of poor choices when I was young and didn't really get to know him well and found myself pregnant young and, and married young and, um, you know, living in a mortuary, you can either um, find faith, which is what eventually happened to me, or you can be negatively affected by that. If, if you don't have faith in the afterlife or, or anything like that, then, you know, life seems kind of cruel and, and death mm -hmm. is the end and you're there working with death every day and I, I watched it take its toll on a lot of people. Um, I watched people turn to drugs and alcohol. Wow. Um, you know, just get kind of dark and depressed. So I think you can go one of two ways. And, well, yeah. Well, let's tell folks about the book again. It is called All the Wrong Places by Rebecca Fisher, a novel based on your experiences working yes. in the mortuary. Thanks yes. very much for being with us. And you're no longer working there. You're no longer you're out. Yeah. I'm done. I served She's my done. time. I'm out. I was yeah. going to say, you're an awful chipper. Yeah. <laughs> Rebecca Fisher. Thank well, you. Well, thanks for being with us today. Wow. Could not do that. No, thank you. I know. Could not Maybe do that. Not on a bet. <laughs>